What's up guys? Today let's do a little bit of light. We need some light in our lives. Uh, we're running a light heel deck that was made by our dear friend Dukies. He's the pro at making decks. You can check him out on geodex.com. We're checking out his deck and playing a bit with it. It's, it's fairly easy to understand. You're just running like heels and drawing a lot of cards, basically. And Master of the Indulgences is pretty good uh, because it allows you to trade against big creatures. Uh, I'm probably just gonna drop the cannon eyes. No, the bond's pretty good. Okay. So let's uh, run against these two. Whoa, turn one is already dropping two creatures. That's pretty good. Although I'm probably just uh, gonna drop Netherborn and then the Devoted Follower. Because this is good for trades. Okay, he's trading both. Good. So that means he's. Oh, he's not doing forage. Interesting. No forage then. Oh, this is pretty good. No. I'm probably just gonna do this. The Voted Fire is pretty good if you're running against low attack creatures, because then you can trade against two of them. For example, here is. He's going to trade the Jaguar here, and the Jaguar is going to go down to one attack. Um, but if you're running against Marsh Walkers and others with like one attack or something, then it's pretty good. Like right now I can trade against Marsh Walker, and it's going to have zero attack from now on. This is strength to our eyes, so we're not going to do it. Just gonna heal ourselves up. Well, actually, I think this is a good setup. Because he's gonna have to go through two of them. <coughs> and it's a good setup because I'll drop Golden Harpy next turn. Like, the combo is you have a bunch of creatures that have low health. Uh, you're healing them up with the Golden Harpy because it heals one. Um, Heals all friendly characters for one, and then you're drawing a card for each of the creatures healed. So, and now we can only kill this guy, and it's gonna drop another front line. So, and it's gonna be injured. So that means he's gonna. Okay, he should have gone against this though. Okay, so we'll definitely um, this is a good question because I don't know specifically what to do here. Like I could heal it up and then you would have to go through both of them. Probably just gonna heal this up, yeah. Gives me a card as well, so. Like, now I'm gonna get like two extra cards, you know. Yeah. Like, now he has to go through these two, and th th they're healing, like. <laughs> He's healing is my I'm drawing cards for for each time he heals because it works for every creature in the board So this one's gonna go This one's gonna go into light slavy and I would want to have Another front line. Oh, this is gonna drop another front line. He's gonna check one of them with This is Twin Strike, right? Ah, uh, okay. Good. I'm 
Well, basically, I, I, I do have a lot of creatures, though. Now there's no point in me dropping the other one. I'm just gonna get myself some acolytes. Because we already have a full hand, so... Oh, well played. That's gonna kill everything. The thing is, he doesn't have... Oh, he has three cards. Okay, I thought he only had one. Um... Now, in that case, I'll probably just do this. No. Uh, yeah. I'll probably just do this, and we'll see. That's a lot of creatures, man, for him to do it. And I'm probably gonna trade and then heal everything, you know? Trade this one here, this one here, uh, this one here, and then heal everything with the recovering sigil. Okay, so first we heal, then... Is he gonna kill anything? Well, he's gonna trade here and then the walking plank on the Osiris. Yeah? Okay. That's okay. That's not a problem. We could do canonize instead of dropping the other one. Now I would rather um, I would rather trade this here and then just go face and then uh, heal heal this one. Right about now, I would like the other I thumb of torch. Because we're running out of cards. Like, if he kills both of these guys, like if he drops both guys here, I'll probably just canonize the skeleton heavy. If he drops a big one, I'm just gonna trade the Master of Indulgences. Like this one, you know? I'm gonna trade the Master of Indulgences here. It's gonna have two health. So he's gonna trade both and then he's gonna attack. On the next turn. If not, then it's perfect. Okay. Perfect. This is great. That's the best scenario for us. It's the best scenario for us because we're just going to trade this here. I'll probably want to keep my... My creatures on the board... So I'm just gonna heal myself up normally because I want to keep them here, you know? Like now we'll probably just uh, canonize the Master of Indulgences. It's gonna be like a 5 um, a 5.11 with Protected. That's pretty awesome, man. Exactly, perfect. So that Void Drake's gone. That Void Drake is gone completely. Oh, sorry. This one. <laughs> I was gonna screw up. Okay, so we do this. It's gonna heal myself up. And then I'm gonna heal this one up. And I'm gonna drop the other weapon. Next turn we can do Odysseus and then <coughs> heal everything. I'll probably just trade the, the binder. Because this is gonna drop four creatures. Yeah. Perfect. So yeah, exactly. So I'm gonna do trade this one here. And here. Here. Here, then drop the Odysseus and heal everything up. Okay. 
Like, if he keeps dropping those, it's gonna be dangerous, though. But I don't think he has many of them in the deck. Like, he, he's prob he probably doesn't have the duplicates in his hand. Okay, so that's pretty good. I think I'll do this one here. Okay. And then I'll do... First, I'm going to heal up this one, because that's this is the most important dude. I'm going to keep the weapon there, just in case I need it for a trade. Uh, but I want to heal this up a little bit more. Okay, we got to get rid of the deadly. That's 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 the number one priority. Although we cannot... Well, we can use the weapon here. And then... We can do Odysseus and one of them. No, I'll, I'll do this one and then I'll do these three. I should have done the Wicked Fate, but no, no problem because he doesn't have any. He doesn't have any more cards in his sense, so he's not going to have any answers. It's kind of screwed, yeah. Okay, so keep going with heal. Are we going against a mirror match or is it the, a mid range? I don't think I can survive, survive against a mid range light deck. Because I only have the Master of Indulgences there to, to be able to trade. Okay, so we'll definitely keep... Okay, we're keep... We're, oh my god, that's not good. Okay, so this is turn 1, definitely. And turn 2 is going to be the Voto Follower. This is good, because it's going to give me trades. Like, 2 trades at least. Uh, turn 2 is going to be the Voto Follower. I'm going to keep the weapon here. Turn 4 will probably do like the High Thaumaturge and trade this against whatever he does. Like if he uses the Summon Acolyte and then heal this up. Okay. So he's not doing anything. So I'm just going to keep at it, right? Yeah. Is he doing Diacolite here? Yeah, because he... Oh, no, he has the Large Bag of Tricks. Okay, perfect. This is good. I think I'll just uh, do the Harpy here. Ah! I should have attacked, though. <laughs> that was stupid. <laughs> that was very, very stupid. Uh, I can do Highborn Knight next turn. Okay, so we're going to keep the Sigil and the Automaturge for the second round of uh, drawing cards. Yeah. That was stupid, man. Okay, we'll definitely do... I'm going to do the Small Bag of Tricks here. I'm gonna get rid of this guy. He's gonna drop something. And then we're just gonna let it heal because it's gonna summon another one, drawing two cards. Pretty good. Like this is the, the, the combo, man. It's I Thumb and Torch and the Golden Heart because you're summoning a frontline, so you're protecting your dude every turn? Hmm. What shall I do here? I think I'll just... Uh... Yeah, I'll trade the, the, this one here. And this one. And 
and just in case he does something funny I'm gonna drop the Trojan Golem because if he kills everything I still have this uh, this guy ah uh, I shouldn't drop anything I would draw one more card yeah that was stupid well it kind of doesn't matter because I can do Odysseus like I can trade everything I can do Odysseus and then I can do recovering sigil on turn seven <laughs> that's gonna be OP man um okay so I'm definitely doing the this here and I'll just drop this one and I'll trade against this guy uh, it, it has wards so it's gonna be protected against any spell that he throws So we have a pretty good hand to be able to deal with whatever he throws. Okay, so now I think I'm just gonna enjoy the the drawing power, you know? Uh, I'll use this one here and then I'm gonna heal everything up <laughs> Now I shouldn't I should save it for Odysseus though Yeah That was greedy because I was gonna overdraw and I should save it for Odysseus Okay, so definitely, I think, yeah, this is a win. Yeah, we did win. Because we're doing this. I'm probably even going to buff the smallest one. It's going to be this dude. And then I'll just uh, overkill him. <laughs> Fast win, you see?